Have you been to the Alamo? Yep. I have relatives who fought there. My um, my cousins fought at the gift shop the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really tough time I heard. Do we have any Dallas Cowboy fans on board? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> One at the very front. On our right side upstairs, the Dallas Cowboys Pro Shop. Oh, yeah. They used to carry a Tony Romo bobble pin, and they had to get rid of it. It, it turned out to be a choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> they opened uh, the Sea Life Aquarium in the mall three years ago. They opened the Lego Land Discovery Center here four years ago. The, the Lego Land, boy, they're busy this summer. They, they got the kids lined up for blocks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, here we are. We're back at the dock. I enjoyed having you on the tour. Hey, I hope you all enjoy being had. Have a good day. Have a nice summer. Thanks, y'all. Come back and see us. Thank you, guys. Did you train on the uh, jumbo cruise? <laughs> Overhead, we have the Copper Street Bridge. Spring break eight years ago, Steve-O did a back flip off that bridge. Yeah. 14 feet, he hit the concrete bottom. Very lucky to walk out. Now, look up on our left. They unveiled the Stargazer sculpture on our left last year. The sculptor Pedro Reyes from Mexico City. He used volcanic rock. The star is marble, the foundation granite, the stargazer. Look on the right side of our boat, the statue, San Antonio. San Antonio de Padua, 12th century saint, born in Lisbon, Portugal. The, the river and city were named after him. June 13th of 1691, the feast day of St. Anthony. Father Damian Massene held mass along the bank of the river. They named the river in honor of St. Anthony. The statue, a gift from Portugal for the World Fair, Hemisphere 1968. 55 years ago, the statue was located over at Hemisphere Park at the Portuguese Pavilion. After the World's Fair, they moved the statue down here. Hey, look up on the right side of our boat, you'll see St. Joseph's Catholic Church, founded by German immigrants, 1868. The German immigrants, Lutherans, founded St. John's over on the West Street, and the Catholics, St. Joseph's, right up here on Commerce Street, 1868. Every fourth Sunday of the month, there's an all-male choir, the Lederkranz, they sing in German. On our right side, the Chamber of Commerce. Now look up on our right side, street level, that orange red sculpture, a torch of friendship, a gift from Mexico, the summer of 2002, 21 years ago, the sculptor Sebastian. Friendship between the United States, Mexico, and Canada. The torch of friendship, 21 years ago. We're going to exit out of the man-made hemisphere extension that was built for the World's Fair, Hemisphere, 1968, 55 years ago. They excavated from street level back behind us. So now we're heading out to this natural horseshoe bend of the San Antonio River. The river, it is spring fed four miles north of here, up on the campus of the University of the Incarnate Word at the Blue Hole and south of there in Brackenridge Park near the San Antonio Zoo and Whitty Museum. The headwaters are three to four miles north of the San Antonio River. It flows 
the southeast, winding over 200 miles, 145 miles of parochial ice, meeting up with the Guadalupe River 10 miles from the San Antonio Bay on the Gulf of Mexico. On our right side, one of our other locations, same tour, three locations. Ellip High on the left side of the boat, the Hilton Palacio del Rio, the palace on the river. H.P. Zachary built the hotel in 202 working days, just seven and a half months from the date they broke ground to the date the guests checked in. Modular construction, the rooms were stacked like the Lego got, blocks. Like they, they got a Built at HP Zachary headquarters made. south of oh, town, okay. constructed on an assembly line. Dollars. The rooms were carried up here on flatbed trucks, oh, then lifted with cranes. Modular construction. Look up on the right side of our boat. Check this out. We got the world's largest frozen margarita machine. <laughs> <laughs> On our left, we have a couple of restaurants, originally homes of German immigrants, the Baumbach and the Dashels. Just ahead of us, the Arneson River Theater, named to honor Edwin P. Arneson, a chief engineer with Works Projects Administration. The Federal Relief Program helped build the Riverwalk between 1938 and 1941. Did you see the movie Miss Congeniality starring Sandra Bullock? The beauty pageant was filmed on this stage. Did you see the boat that passed right by here in the movie? Did, did you all see the boat captain who was in the movie? No. Was that you? That no, was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> You're on, on our left. Time. You had right upstairs on our left to La Vieta, little village of old San Antonio, historic La Vieta, the oldest neighborhood in our city. Today you find artisan, craftsmen, gift shops, and restaurants. On the right side of our boat, the Briscoe Western Art Museum named to honor a former governor, the late Dolph Briscoe. That was our library, 1930 to 1968. For years, it was Hertzberg Circus Museum. The Briscoe Western Art Museum opened 10 years ago. Overhead, the native bald cypress. These larger cypress trees are over 300 to 400 years old. Hey, we have a low bridge. Stay seated. Cressa Street Bridge, built in 1890 by Berlin Iron Bridge East Berlin, Connecticut. Cressa, it means a dam. The river was dammed up here and water diverted through an acequia, a hand-dug irrigation ditch. Over 50 miles of a safety irrigated farm land of our five Spanish missions. On the right side of our boat, Marriage Island, a very popular wedding spot under the cypress tree Aww. on Marriage Island. It's considered to bring good luck when you get married here. I've got a good buddy of mine. He got married down here three times. I <laughs> That third time is the charm. <laughs> and then right here, we have the old mill crossing back in the 1800s. We had a mill on the right bank where the Hotel Contessa is today, that Nate Lewis Mill. Right here below the mill, San Antonio River was a foot deep. Horses and wagons crossed here. Had limestone rock along the river bottom and made this the ideal spot to cross the old mill crossing. What do you think so far? It's beautiful. I like it.
look up high on the left side of our boat, the Tower Light Building. Could be a church you not know. Opened 1929 as Smith <laughs> Young Insurance. 404 feet tall, 30 stories, neo Gothic style architecture. 20 gargoyles oh, near the top. Wow. They extend out three to four feet and oh, serve as drainage down spouts. On our left, above the first floor, a pair of faces every 15 feet known as grotesque. Typical of neo Gothic style gargoyles and grotesque guard the building. Our first Sears department store was here. They're about to renovate the building into condominiums. Straight ahead of us, Granada Homes Apartments for Seniors. That was the Plaza Hotel, 1926 Jack White's Plaza Hotel. On our right side, Homewood Suites Hotel. That was San Antonio Drug Company, 1919 to 1963. San Antonio Drug, today the Homewood Suites. <laughs> Straight ahead of us, the Bear County Courthouse, 1896. Bear County's fourth courthouse. Architect James Riley Gordon. Architectural style Richardson Romanesque. Gordon designed 72 courthouses in the United States, 18 in Texas. On our right side, one of two marinas where we park our boats at night. Bloodgate number four, right here. It rises up out of the river. Bloodgate four. Then down to our left, Bloodgate number five. Ooh, that looks nice now. Do you see that light down there? Bloodgate five, it's a dam. The San Antonio River, it drops off 15 feet at Bloodgate five and flows south through the King William Historic District, the neighborhood settled by German immigrants. South of there, the Mission Reach. They've added another eight and a half miles of riverwalk, hike, bike, jogging trails, paddling trails. You can canoe and kayak Mission Reach. We have 15 and a half miles of river walk. We're in a linear park. Right now we are in the man-made flood channel built in 1926 for blood control. 25 feet from the street to the concrete bottom. The river's 10 to 15 feet deep. High on our right side, there's the old Alamo National Bank building. Drury renovated the old bank building into a hotel. They added rooms on top of the parking garage. They excavated right through the wall of the man-made flood channel to the basement of the garage and constructed over 600 feet of river walk and foot bridge 2006. On the left side of our boat, main plaza, plaza de Las Islas, Plaza of the Isles. Look right upstairs on our left, you'll see the San Fernando Cathedral. March 9, 1731, 15 families arrived from the Spanish Canary Island. They set the cornerstone in 1738. Straight ahead of us, the North Channel, San Antonio River. It is spring bed, four miles north of here. On the right side of our boat, the George Whitty Building, 1894. They restored the building three years ago. Now look up high, straight ahead of us, the Ben Milam Cypress, the Twin Trunk Native Bald Cypress. That tree is around 400 years old. Legend is that Ben Milam was shot by a Mexican sniper perched in the tree during the Battle of Empire, December 7, 1835, two and a half months before the Battle of Dallas. Bloodgate 3, look up, look overhead. 
We have a torrential rainfall flash flooding. They drop floodgate three like a guillotine. <laughs> they test it daily every morning around 10.30. <laughs> what, what time is it? 10.30. 10.31. Whoa, they're running late. <laughs> Sometimes they are late. It's close. Look high on the right side of our boat, the 16-story floodgate luxury apartment. Both the summer, high on our right side of the boat, the Hilton Canopy Hotel, opened two years ago. On our right side, you head up the stairs to the Esquire Tavern, 1933 Esquire Tavern, opened the day after Prohibition was repealed. The, the bar's 108 feet long. On the left side of our boat, the Drury Inn and Suites Hotel. The building opened in 1921 as the city public service, electric and gas. We, we paid the electric bill down here years ago. Hey, what's up? Good morning. They hydrated, man, it's gonna be like a hundred. Yeah. Uh, on our right side, one of our other locations, the same tour, three locations. Aztec Theater. It opened uh, 1926, the front of the theater, right up the stairs on St. Mary Street. It closed in 1984 and eventually it was restored and reopened in 2006. They restored the theater, a Warlitzer organ in the theater, excavated under Crockett Street to the basement and opened restaurant and retail. Hey, did you see the movie Selena starring Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. J-Lo? Selena's the bridge. Hugman Foot Bridge was in the movie Selena. One of the scenes, Jennifer Lopez was sitting on this bridge directly overhead. Did did uh, did you all see the boat captain who was in that movie? <laughs> <laughs> on our left, we have the Omni La Mansion del Rio, the mansion on the river, the hotel. It opened for the 1968 World's Fair, Hemisphere, as the La Posada Inn. The site was originally St. Mary's School for Boys, 1853. It evolved into St. Mary's University and School of Law. St. Mary's outgrew the downtown campus, relocating northwest of downtown. St. Mary's University School of Law. All right, I am going to show you an optical illusion. The old Nick's Hospital building. From down here, it looks like a 26-story wall. As we come out from under the bridge, look straight up in the air on our left side of the boat. Look up. Check this out. On our left. Look up. The Nick's Hospital opened 1930. Carol Burnett, born here 1933. She turned 97 weeks ago. They closed the Nick's Hospital three and a half years ago. Closed right before COVID. Marriott Virgin Property. I still not saying it. I actually had to go to that hospital when it was a hospital. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now look up high straight ahead of us, the Hyatt Regency Riverwalk. The hotel opened in 1981. They limited the height of that hotel to 16 stories so as not to cast a shadow on the Alamo when the sun sets. You can head from the Riverwalk through the Hyatt up the beautifully landscaped walkway to the Alamo. They 
Paseo de Alamo, the passage to the Alamo on our left, right through the Hyatt Regency. Hey, do you remember the Alamo? <laughs> now, just ahead of us, we have the Crockett Street Bridge. It is identical to the Presa Street Bridge. 1890 Berlin Iron Bridge, East Berlin, Connecticut. On the right side of our boat, the Casino Club building, 1927, Art Deco style architecture. Casino Club, it was a German social club founded by the German immigrants in 1853. There are apartments upstairs, and one of the apartments was once home to a well-known author, Alex Haley. He wrote the book Roots. Alex Haley, he served in the U.S. Coast Guard. There's a Coast Guard cutter named after him up in Kodiak, Alaska. This is the River Square. And we have quite a few restaurants to choose from down here in the River Square. You got Mexican food, seafood, Mexican food, Italian food, Mexican food, <laughs> German food, Mexican food, steakhouses, Mexican food, Texas barbecue, Mexican food, Southwest cuisine, and Mexican food. Do you have any Mexican food? Yes, sir, we do. We, One restaurant. We've got a Chipotle back at the mall. Pretty good. <laughs> um, look up on the right side of our boat, the Clifford Building. 1941, Robert Husman, father of the Riverwalk, the architect who designed the Riverwalk, had his office here. Proving a business could survive down here once flood control was implemented. You'll see his name below that green railing. Hugman, oh, yeah. AIA American Institute of Architects. Robert H. Hugman, father of the Riverwalk. On the right side of our boat, Mexican food. <laughs> Casa Rio, 1946. The old restaurant on the Riverwalk. They've been here Is 77 the years. Casa de Rio. They were the first to have dining right here on the bank of the river and the first to operate boat tours. The Venetian style gondolas like Venice. The gondolier stood on the back and pushed the gondola through the water. The gondolers Hey, they sang, they serenaded passengers. <laughs> Sorry, I'll spare you the misery. <laughs> All right, we are back in the man-made Hemisphere oh. Extension built for the 1968 World's Fair Hemisphere. We had 7 million visitors for the World's Fair. 55 years ago. We average over 30 million visitors a year to the city today. They excavated, landscaped, planted all the trees down here. They excavated from the street level down. They built the Chamber of Commerce on our left. They built the Convention Center, the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center named to honor the first Hispanic elected to the U.S. Congress. Henry B. Gonzalez, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1961. He served 18 terms, 36 years in the House of Representatives. Look up on the left side of our boat. We're headed back by St. Joseph's Catholic Church. German immigrants, 1868. Look up on the right side of our boat, high above the downtown skyline, the Tower of the Americas. There it is. It opened for the World we Fair, Hemisphere, 1968, 55 years ago. 622 feet, 750 feet to the top of the antenna. 
the second tallest freestanding observation tower in the United States. The tallest is the stratosphere in Las Vegas at 1,000 feet. Our tower 622. Seattle Space Needle 606. The tower, it has the observation level up at the very top, and below that, the chart house restaurant. The chart house that revolves. On our right side, there's Stargazer. Pedro Reyes. It was so City Stargazer. You know, dig it. Um, when Go Rio Cruises <laughs> hired me, uh, yesterday they asked me they, they asked me Doug how tall are you I told them only five four and they said I'd be the perfect height for this job <laughs> <laughs> well hey I have enjoyed you got some having you along uh, I, gotta find I hope you all enjoy your stay in San Antonio this is one of the, one of the better tours yeah. been on have a safe trip home have a great Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you got value out of the information, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.